Welcome back to my channel. This is part two of Beyond the Circuit Board Recovery of Gold from Low Grade Pens or Electronic Waste. And while they're not motherboards or RAM chips, they're the low hanging fruit that still has gold on it. And we have soaked these in uh, these pens in acid peroxide for two uh, for one week, and this is the result. The foils have come off, the pens are dissolved, and it looks okay to me. All right, we're going to take some of these RJ45s and throw in there, and some of these uh, connectors because I don't feel like peeling them back and getting all the fingers off of them. Let's do this quick. So we're going to take the RJ45 connectors and throw in the AP today. Probably. It looks like uh, one of the rheostat pieces. This is, uh, all this, this is all common electronic stuff. It's got a little bit of gold on it. We're going to throw in AP to make it a little easier. It'll dissolve the tin and uh, some of the base metals and leave the gold behind. I don't have to worry about dissolving the plastic and we can speed this up. All right, so we're gonna start the removal of the gold foils from this low grade waste with my copper two etchant AP acid peroxide. We're gonna dissolve the base metals and I wanna show you my little setup in here. There's my bubbler. And I like to put a plastic bucket with plastic handles on it so that the metal, you know, you don't have to worry about dissolving or corroding, rather. There's uh, holes on the side to help drain it when I want to pull it out to separate the plastic from the foils. And this is just a little cat litter box, man. It's uh, It seals up pretty good. I've put some uh, gasket putty on it to help seal it a little better, keep the fumes down. So we're going to start this up. What I'm going to do is glove up and put my goggles on. I'll put this uh, low-grade waste in the um, bucket with the holes in it, and we're going to start this up real soon. All right, let's see if we can get in there. It's starting to dissolve away the base metals. So it's going to be a while. I'm going to put a heating pad underneath it to speed it up. Okay, it's been a week. We're going to pull these out and take a look at them. I'm going to rinse them off with water. It looks like the folds are pretty loose. Anything that's not, we'll put back. I want to take a quick exam, take a look at them, and see what the condition is. And we'll have the results. Okay, so uh, that was relatively quick. See the holes in the bucket? I like to use this bucket when I'm doing the AP because it makes separating so much easier. Now there's just a little bit still left on these chips, um, not much, because you know after rinsing and swirling it around in a bucket, most of the gold flakes fall off. And as you can see here, they're at the bottom and I will filter that out in just a couple of seconds and we're going to look at what we have. I still have not filtered all the gold flakes in the bucket. This is just what was left on the chip, so we still have that to do. All right, welcome back to my channel. This is the second part of Beyond the Circuit Board Gold Recovery from Low Grade Waste. What we have here is the gold flakes that I'm filtering from the low grade pens that we had recovered the gold from. As you can see here, these were the pens. Let me see if I can get you. But these were low grade pens. I know they're not the motherboards or um, RAM memory cards and stuff like that, but they still have gold, all right? And there were a few RJ5 connectors that we put in there for a test run. And let's see if we can get in there, man. All the pens are gone. So a lot of this stuff was magnetic and it did take about a week to dissolve, but you can see here, give you a better shot the, the pins are gone man they're all gone so you know I, I like using AP for this kind of stuff it's like set and forget now I know there's still some pins under here and in here that I need to get to and we'll do that next but 
most of the the gold from this solution here was from rinsing these off so as you can see there's another rj5 connector and i think what i'm going to do next is for the rj5 connectors i'm going to separate the metal off some of the shielding there's just a little bit in there but man that worked pretty well so this is it